What is up guys? It's your boy Brandon here. Welcome back to the Gran Turismo Nostalgia Challenge. This is the final race of the Beginner League Gran Turismo World Championship. Three laps at Grand Valley Speedway. I wanted to get this in on the previous video, but unfortunately this race would have taken too long. So without further ado, let's get this done. I shouldn't have a problem here at all. I'm pretty okay at Grand Valley. Get on the inside and accelerate. I've always been good at that first turn. Don't know why, but just I guess it's a thing. I gotta like, I don't know, tap the accelerator just like constantly around these turns because if I floor it through these turns, I may oversteer the car. It's a heavy car with a little bit of a steering issue, which I will definitely work on if I'm going to be taking this car like high key. Uh, it depends on my prize car, I guess. What should I enter when I get this championship complete? To be honest though, I haven't done too god awful with this championship. The worst place I've taken was 6th place, but that was at my own stupidity. But then when I was racing normally, the worst place I took was 3rd place. So really, not bad. I've only lost 2 of the races. So really, I just have to place I guess in the top 3 and I should be okay. Well, to be honest, I could place any position and I'd be okay. In fact, I don't even have to do this race. I could just pause this, exit the race, and still win the championship. But I want to race it because, well, it's fun and I need the money. Definitely got to work on this thing being so heavy. And just, like do something about it because uh, this handling is crap I mean the braking's not too bad really but the handling sucks top speed's good for this car Oh, by the way, in Gran Turismo 4 onwards, you can always find the map to the GT3 layout to Grand Valley Speedway. Why do I say it like it's different? It's because it is different. A specific section is kind of sharpened up a little bit. Instead of just being rounded, it's more, how do I put it, octagonal. It's this section right here. It's a little bit more, uh, I don't know, pointed out or something. It's not a rounded turn anymore. And I'm about to touch the wall. Oof. Ooh. Careful, baby. Gotta be careful with this whip. My that was disturbing sound, and I apologize. And that's a little strategy I got called just stop right in front of them and ride their bumping. How much time I got on this? Not much. It's alright. Final lap. I think the farthest I ever got from these guys was like three seconds ahead. And I think that was at the super speedway. I, I can't remember. I've never really gotten too far. 
and then there's no real place to cheat around this track, so I'm just going by my own goodness here. I think you're supposed to hit the brakes at those turns. I know you're supposed to do it here. Now, I remember there's like a 60 lap race at this track. Um, for any of the uh, big endurance races, I'll just live stream those on my periscope. I think I already mentioned this a few times, but I'm going to try to bring it up as often as possible so y'all be ready for that. Follow me on Periscope. It's the same as my Twitter, at Franciosi the Boy. Boy spelled B-O-I. Alright, make the turn. Woo. Come on, come on, don't get caught up. Put too much stress on the car, it could spin out. Oh, by the way, I've been looking into maybe trying to get this thing hooked up to do iLink battles. Um, I don't know if the servers are still up for that, but I really want to try it. Like, So, if anybody has any way to do iLink battle, let me know. I'm using an original line PlayStation 2. The big fat one with the fan in the back. And I won that race. Bang. Alright, nice. Alright, and now we get the grand prize. 50k. And a prize card. I get to choose from one of four. Let's hope it's something good. Oh god, I see the silhouette of a Miata. Don't... I hate you so much. There's nothing different about that Miata. Wait a minute, if I remember. Blaze Red. Oh, this is a different one from the one I own. It's the 1989 one. This is the 1993 one. Don't ask me how I know this. If I'm correct about this one, when you drive it, you get the, uh, you get the top up and it looks like a solid red top. Yup. Alright, I'll keep this. I mean, sure, it's just a regular old Miata, but I like the novelty of a solid top. Because you don't get that in any of the, uh, any of the Gran Turismo's except this one. Well, you're doing Gran Turismo 2 with specific Miatas. The, uh, Miata A-Spec Tuning Kit and the C-Spec Tuning Kit. Because when am I ever going to drive that? Alright, so. I have $131,000. I've driven this thing almost 100 miles. What am I going to do now? Let's go around and see what we need to do. Four-wheel drive, MR, FF. Um, the NA Sports. I have an idea. Because I said so. Let's see, do I want it in silver, black, or red? I like it in... Nah, I like it in... Silver. It's early, but you know what? I'm the boss, man. Oh god, that came out all rednecky. And hey, also, let's put some parts in it. I know I said no grind episodes, but this is essential. Mm. 
racing tires. Let's take it to a race. Do I have time? I have plenty of time. I have time to kill. This is legal too. The Viper GTS appeared in Gran Turismo 1 and 2. In fact, even to this day, the 1999 Dodge Viper is probably one of the best cars in the game. I have one in Gran Turismo 6, and it's still good. Seems like an unfair match, and that's because it is an unfair match. But hey, I did this fair and square. Now let's murder these clowns. I may go back to and fix my losses in the championship with this car. I mean, I just murder them in this thing. I forgot to change the oil, too, to get that extra horsepower, but really, do I need it? That's the question. I think I'm doing enough damage to them as it is. Oh god, you can't see the screen here, Link fix that. Won't matter if I wreck, I'm still gonna destroy him, I mean... Friggin' Dodge Viper. You just can't beat that, boy! Give up! Then again, after the difficult races I've been through a little bit ago, you think I deserve to have a little bit of fun, right? And if it means taking the Viper, then what the heck? I mean, I had to grind for this view. Is that meme even relevant anymore? to go off the track. My biggest threat is the MRS right now, and whereas that would normally be a threat, <laughs> not anymore. Then again, this game can be very easy when you know what you're doing. Very, very easy. Oh yeah, and I still need to do arcade mode and all that jazz. Get on the track. Got it. So, I've been debating a little bit about whether or not I want to, if I can, take the Viper Teamwork a race car. Now that I'm thinking about Vipers, um, I mean, I guess it'd be okay. I mean, by name, the Team Orca race car was in Gran Turismo 2. And, well, the Dodge Viper Team Orca in this game is based off of the Racing Modified Viper GTS. So, I guess it'd be okay just own the Dodge Viper first. Which, of course, I do, so it, it's no problem. Alright, well there we have it, and looks like I'm running out of time actually, so hey, good timing. Um, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, that concludes this episode of the Gran Turismo 3 Nostalgia Challenge. Be sure to like and subscribe, share with your friends, and tell them about me. I mean, all the publicity could really help out a lot. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.